What's up, family? Peace and blessings. I finally got my camera lens, the 1635 King, the camera lens King, man. So let's make some content. So we got some something interesting to react to. Um, and guys, this is what I've been saying. What she's about to say, I know a lot of you guys who are programmed, a lot of you guys who are blue-pilled, you're going to find offense to her message. But this is what me and many other brothers who have been awakened have been saying for a long time. You know, I tell you guys this all the time. Go back into Adam and Eve. All, all this thing, all this, you know, chaos when relationships and, you know, how the man is against a woman, you know, Eve's nature, Adam's nature, stuff like that. You could learn everything that's going on today if you look back and if you look at history, if you look back in the garden, Adam and Eve. Okay, so we know that, you know, after, you know, Adam and Eve, they, you know, Eve can, can brought forth, um, you know, Cain first, right? And you know what happened with the devil and what they did. You know, now there's a lot of things that I believe that they did that I won't I won't touch on this video because I don't want to, you know, I don't want to give out false information like that. But I, I believe that there was something Eve was doing with Satan in the garden, bro. Let's keep it like that. There was something because how do you bring forth uh, the seed of Cain? Okay, the Bible, we all know what the Bible says about Cain, seed of the wicked one, you know, you know, seed of Satan. Okay, and then after, you know, after they did what they did, they brought forth Cain, right? And then after they brought forth Abel, Abel was a righteous one, okay? And like I've been telling you guys, Eve, she doesn't like you, Adam. She, she wants nothing to do with Adam. Eve would rather be with Satan. But there's Bible verses that prove this too. 1 Timothy chapter 5, verse 14 to 15. Okay, and before I play the clip, I, I want to bring some clarity on this too as well. You know, what, what everything that she, oh, man, I have so much to talk about. This would be a long video. Let's just play a little bit. Let's play it. Let's play it. Hold up. It's realizing that your type ain't gonna marry you. Yep, you heard me. You heard me. Your type ain't gonna marry you. It stressed me out when I heard it though. God put that on my spirit and said, Girl, share it with your friends. Share it with okay, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. She says, God has put it on her spirit. And said, share it with your uh, share it with your friends. Like I said, guys, what she's saying in this video is true. So maybe God did put it on her spirit. Because like I've been telling you, brothers, over and over again, you righteous men, you men who are keeping God's commandments, who are walking the straight or narrow path, um, you know, who are honoring God. Eve doesn't want nothing to do with you. Okay? She wants nothing to do with you. So what this lady is saying, it might offend some people because, oh, Mark does not know what she's saying is true. I've been saying this. What she's saying is not nothing new. You know, it's crazy when I say what she says, oh, Mark, you hate women. But when a woman says it, what are y'all going to say now? It's, it reminds me, too, of when I talk about the Israelites and how Israelites are black. You know, not, not every black person is an Israelite because you have Africans who are Hamites that are, you know, black, too, darker skin, too, as well. So this is where you have to use your discretion. But whenever I bring that out, that Israelites are, you know, Negroes, you know, I get called hateful, racist. But the true hateful, racist people are the ones who can't accept that God's chosen people are black. Those are the people. When people are, are saying that, Mark, you hate women. Oh, Mark, you're racist. You're hateful. They're just gaslighting. They're deflecting. Okay, they're actually the ones that are, you know are racist and they hate. You know, you you hate God's chosen people. They hated them back then. They hate them now. Nothing new under the sun. And on my spirit, it said, "Girl, share it with your friends. Share it with the cousins because they need the girl." She said, <laughs> you want to get married to a good man, a good man. And if See, so wait, wait, hold on. She said, "You want to get married?" She said, "Wait, let me go back." You want to get married? A good man ain't your type. Yeah, that's true. Eve, she didn't want nothing. She didn't want Adam, bro. She didn't want nothing to do with Adam. That's why, you know, the Bible says 1 Timothy chapter 5, verse 14 to 15. Go look it up if you want to. Okay. Many women have turned aside, went back into Satan. Just like Lot's wife. You know how it says she looked back? You know, she loved the devil. Lot's wife. Lot was a righteous man. Lot the wife, Lot, Lot's wife didn't want him. Okay. Eve, she didn't want Adam, she, but I'm telling y'all, bro, I know this is a hard pill to swallow, like, I get it, you know, and, you know, some of you guys will mark, you know, is there any hope for me, you know, I get this message a lot, my DMs, a lot of brothers, especially the younger ones, are like, oh, Mark, is there any hope to get married out here, listen, bro, there's like less than 1% women who are truly set apart, not the ones who are religious, avoid religious women, and you have to use your discernment, you, you'll know what a woman's religious and a woman's truly set apart, you'll know, um, you know, there's less than one percent, bro. Now, if you go overseas, it's a, this is you know, keep in mind. A lot of people talk about overseas passport, bros. What I would have to add into that, when you go overseas, you're still dealing with Eve. You're just dealing with the Eve with less body counts. You're dealing with the Eve who's going to respect you and honor you because you know, in different cultures, that's how they're accustomed to. Um, and you know, so 
Man, I I wouldn't recommend it in America, bro. I'm just telling you that right now. I would I wouldn't recommend it, man. Now, of course, if you find that like one percent, then hey, you know, a woman who's down with your program, then that's cool. But um, the women who are in their twenties, they're not looking to serve a man. They're not looking to be a wife. They're not looking to serve a husband. Uh, they're not looking for any of that. They're looking for their own selfish desires, their own selfish needs. They're looking. They're, it's all about themselves. Okay. And uh, it's crazy because a woman, she doesn't, you know, the woman today, they don't want to become set apart until they have children out of wedlock, until they're in their 30s, until they've been for the streets, been ran and abused, you know, bodies after bodies, and now they want to become set apart, or now they want to become religious. So, um, it's tough. A good man ain't your type. A good man ain't her type, because their type is Satan. Their type is the devil. That's Eve's type. Their type is not a man of God, Adam. It's not, that's not their type. It's boring. You know, to Eve, that's boring, you know? So, uh, like I said, guys, one percent. If you're if you're of that ninety nine percent, then I expect you to be in the comments section of being mad. I expect it. But if you're the one percent, I expect you to agree with this message, you know. But so uh, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. I'm, the comment section of the video is about to be lit. Yes. How do you feel about that, Nish? I don't. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> she ain't really feeling it, bro. I think I'm the only chick on the internet that stresses herself out every single day. As soon as I open my mouth, it get dangerous. Whew. Being a realist sometimes is too much. It's too, the pressure is too heavy. It's too heavy. They... And and you could tell, you know. And hey, you know, you could tell a woman like her. She has bodies, bro. I say about twenty plus. I mean, look at the tattoos, the chest tattoos. Um. You know, showing the breasts off, like, you know, let's keep it real, man. You know, um, so you could tell her type is not the man of God. You know, you could tell now, you could tell she's, you know, after she's done for the streets, now, you know, now let's, let's become a Christian. Let's put on the, the, the graven image chain. Let's start reading my Bible. So I go into church, you know, after, the, after you know, your value tanks, uh, after it starts to go down, you know, now let's, you know, you know, let's find the Adam that's to settle down with, you know, even though I'm not, even though they're not attracted to him, even though they don't want him. But you know they want peace and stability. Uh, you know they want to. They, they that's what you know. Then they want Adam, because the Pookies and Rayways that they're letting hit, they know that they're on they're on that path to destruction. You know the warmongers, the harlots that live in that type of lifestyle. So you know, and I guess I guys, you know, not saying that she can't change and you know and get right, but and not saying that she can't be saved in salvation because a lot of people like to twist my words. And, and what the people do, they try to deflect them. They're trying to find a little bit of fault in my message to deflect the entire message. You ain't going to do that. You witches and warlocks, you ain't going to do that in this one. Okay. Um, but her finding a husband, guys, I mean, I wouldn't even make the type of girl my concubine, you know. Um, you could probably tell she, you know, maybe a single mom. If, and a lot of girls, guys, in today in America, if they're not a single mom, just because they had abortions, you know, let's just keep it real. A lot of the, you know, this is stuff that we have to start talking about, man. You know, if they're not, most of them who are, you know, in their 20s who, who are not single moms because, not all of them, of course, but most of them is because they had abortions. So, you know, check your, check the woman you're talking to. Say you can manifest great things when you just speak it out loud, Chaz. You know? <laughs> So there you go. And like I said, guys, the things that she's saying, I've been saying. And when I say it, oh, Mark, you hate women. Oh, Mark, who hurts you? And this is what Eve does, gaslight, manipulation. This is what she does to deflect. Sure, she hates you, man of God. Okay? She hates y'all. And um, when a woman says that, I don't, I don't, I, that's why I said the comment section is going to be lit because I wonder what y'all going to say now this time. But just like, guys, when I talk about the Israelites. I, I just made a video that went viral, has over 2 million views on, on YouTube shorts. Um, it was some white guy talking about how, um, he was talking about how God's chosen people are black. And all I did was react to, I mean, I've been saying that for years. I've been knowing I was an Israelite since what, 2014? You know, I didn't come into the truth until 2018, you know, because it's all levels to it. But, um, you know, I made that video and there's still people saying, you know, Mark, you're racist in that comment in the comment section, like a white guy is saying, and I'm just reacting to it. Like, like people are so delusional and that's a strong delusion that was sent from the most high, you know, because they hate the truth. You know, uh, people, guys, a lot of people that they can't accept the fact that God shows people are black. They're the racist ones. They're the hateful ones. And like I told you guys, all of you righteous, man, even if these eaves, they don't want you, bro. You know, they don't marry the man that they really want. They marry the man who, you know, peace, stability, you know, to have a family with. But they, at the end of the day, they don't really, really want you. 
you know? And, uh, you know, like I said, I've been saying this for a long time. And I get called, Mark, you hate women. Like I said, guys, there's always a 1% of women who set apart who ain't like this, who, who wasn't programmed. You know, and most of those women, they had a daddy in their life. You know, that a masculine figure. There's a reason why Satan is trying to, like, completely turn all these men, you know, LG, turn them out. It's the reason, it's the reason behind that. And, um, yeah, man. You know, like I said, guys, hard pill to swallow. Um, those who are, remember, she said that, guys, God put it on her spirit to tell you. And I, I believe it. I believe that. I know some of you guys are like, oh, no, that's not true. The Holy Spirit, you know, the religious people, the Holy Spirit. Never, no, she spoke truth. And I've been saying what she says. It's not like it's anything new, you know. Um, Eve wants Satan. Eve wants the demonic man. And after she's bored, after her, when she wants to get married, when she wants to start a family, you know, when she wants to walk with and live with her God, now she wants a man of God. But the, by the back of her mind, she's still, you know, battling. She's still, you know, going back and forth. Now, like I said, guys, I've dealt... I mean, I'm, I'm so glad God gave me the experience. I've dealt with every type of female you could think of, the prostitute, the harlot, the church girl, um, you know, the one who, the college girl, you know, the good girl, the vir, you know, the virgin. I've, I've been with all types. And one of the worst types that I've ever dealt with was a church girl, was a religious one, because this is who they really are. By, and this is, these type of women are dangerous because they hide under religion. They got a mask on, the Jezebel spirit. But at the end of the day, they don't want you, bro. These women don't want you, man. So, like I said, a hard pill to swallow. This comment section is about to be lit, bro. I can't wait, man. Can't wait. And uh, I made a community post, and I was talking about uh, what did I post on it? Like, oh, Satan has made it really hard for for a man to find a woman that's uh, attractive, that's not overweight, and doesn't have children already. You know, he's made it really hard, but it's not really Satan. I mean, yeah, he plays a part in it, but it's not really him. It's the woman they desire him. You know, the women who are attractive, young, don't have children, you know, hot, not not overweight. Like those women, they prefer state. They prefer the devil, you know. And, you know, of course, it has a part to do with programming and all those things above. But, yeah, that's the type of man they want. Eve does not want you Adams, bro. Eve did not want Adam. Uh, she wanted Satan. And, uh, you know, they did what they did. And yeah, so like I said, guys, you guys can learn a lot from the garden. You can learn a lot from the story of Adam and Eve. Okay, um, even even look throughout the Bible, guys. Like I said, Lot's wife, she didn't want Lot. You know, even look at Job. The story of Job. Job's wife told him to curse God. Uh, these these are not righteous women, bro. Even though they're righteous men, Job. The Bible, God called Job perfect, man. Okay. Um, Lot, Lot was, you know, was one of the few who got saved, Lot, Lot and his children. Okay, so these are perfect men to the Most High, and Eve didn't want them. Even Adam, before they sinned, Eve didn't. <laughs> I mean, are you guys waking up now? <laughs> that was kind of loud. That, that was, that was kind of loud. But are you guys waking up now? And I know, I know the comment section. Oh, Mark, you hate women. Oh, Mark, you know, um, this and that. The Holy Spirit would never, you know, <laughs> they're going to gaslight. And guys, new camera lens. We get it's getting popping, it's getting lit, man. I'm about to make some content. Um, but yeah, hard put a swallow. Eve don't want Adam. Like and subscribe. Comment below. Peace, peace, peace.